we're driving back from Eagle and we saw this place on the way out and we obviously wanted to be able to try and find some caribou so we stopped and glassed around for a bit and now that the sun is out now it's really gorgeous um, this is the kind of countryside that when I imagine the Alaskan wilderness this is what I think about this is the classic you know the view the terrain the trees the bush and it's just absolutely incredible we are uh, really enjoying the sun as it's coming out what I can say is that this, if you're going to come out here just for the view and just to drive up and, you know, see some of the places like Eagle, um, it's a cash only town. <laughs> they don't take uh, credit cards or, you know, debit cards, anything like that. Um, there was one ATM that you could pull money out for $5 a transaction, um, which, you know, I was like, all right. As far as like the general store, I feel like it was a little spendy even for Alaskan standards. But the gasoline was only about 40 cents more a gallon than what you would pay down in like Anchorage. So I was at least happy that it wasn't anything crazy as far as that went. Um, I, uh, I would say that the Taylor Highway is almost entirely dirt road and fairly well maintained probably a couple months out of the year. Um, if uh, you come out here after October 1st, they stop maintaining it, which means you're kind of on your own, which is a very Alaskan thing to do where they just say, okay, we uh, will help you out a little ways, but after that, your call, you do what you want to do. And uh, you know, if you call for help, we might not be able to get you. Um, this time of the year though it's maintained and um, as far as like how safe it is drive slowly and um, drive at night don't drive at night excuse me <laughs> drive slowly and you know drive during the day um, I would I would trust an all-wheel drive vehicle four-wheel drive would probably be best and um, anything that can get over some of the rocks and stuff because uh, when we've seen we've seen some rocks and things fall into the road some kind of like rock slide type stuff, small things, you know, um, if you're in a truck and, you know, potentially not small things if you're in something smaller than a truck. Um, but I would say it's worth it. If you have the time and you want to come out here and you want to see this, I mean, this is, this is absolutely just stunning stuff. Um, <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't even, I can't even describe how fucking excuse me how beautiful it is out here um just absolutely amazing all right i'm gonna get out there and i'm gonna look for some caribou um and take in the view for a bit um we still got a couple hours to go to get home make dinner and then get to bed before it gets dark so i don't think we're going to spend tons of time out here and i want to soak it up while we can wish me luck